How is it going everybody? You're watching the Nabal Tech and today I'll show you the best iOS 14.5 new features. As you probably know, iOS 14.5 is the biggest, is the most important software update in iOS 14. It's packed with new features, so that's why I decided to make this video showing you the best, the most important, the ones you want to know. So first, of course, I have to show you the feature that allows us to unlock our iPhone using the Apple Watch while wearing a mask. This is absolutely amazing. I'm pretty sure you have seen this before, but of course, I'll show you right now. So I'll just put on a mask and show you and demonstrate it to you. So all I have to do is tap to wake. As you can see, my iPhone is unlocked and I have a notification saying that my Apple Watch unlocked my iPhone. So I can just swipe up and use my iPhone as usual and I am wearing a mask right now to demonstrate this. If you want to see this feature in depth, including how to actually enable it, how to set it up and everything like that. So if you're running iOS 14.5 on your iPhone and you want to take advantage of this feature, go ahead and click on this card that I'll put right here because I have a dedicated video right here on this channel on this feature specifically. Another very important thing is this feature will only work uh, on iPhones with Face ID, so from the iPhone 10 and up, all right? So Touch ID iPhones will not take advantage of this feature just because they don't need it. Next, let's talk about emojis. So let's pop up the Notes app. And in iOS 14.5, we have 217 new emojis. Yep, that's right, over 200 new emojis. So here are some of them. I'll actually zoom in just a bit so you guys can see it a little bit better. So as you guys can see, we have some new smiley faces right here. We have some new hearts as well. But most of the of those 217 uh, are actually combinations of couples and things like that. Let me show you. So if you tap on your emojis and right here we have uh, couples, right? So if you tap, this is really, really cool. I just love this. So if you tap on one of them, you have the ability to actually customize your couple emojis. On the top row, you have options for the left emoji. And on the bottom row, you have the possibility for the right emoji. So for example, you can tap this and then this, and then you created your emoji. How cool is that? So now you tap here and there you go. You have your own combination. You can select manually how you want your couple emoji to look I absolutely love this and I think this should have been a feature from day one, really. Let's continue and the next new feature is in settings. So let's go to our settings, scroll down to privacy, tap on privacy and we have this new section, this new button here, the orange one called tracking. This is pretty cool guys. So if you tap on that, um, there's a little text here that says, allow apps to ask to track your activity across other companies, apps, and websites. So what pretty much this tells you is that you can actually manually select if you want or not other companies to track your information across different apps. So by default, this is turned off on my iPhone. I would recommend you to turn off because you don't want your information to be given away just like that. I don't know why somebody would want this to be on, uh, but as you can see, it's off on mine and I would recommend you to do that for some reason I can't enable it even if I wanted to but of course I do not want it to so that's fine by me now let's talk about new Siri voices and I also really like that so if we head back to settings and we scroll down to Siri and search as you can see here we have language and Siri voice so language would be of course English Spanish French Portuguese whatever and Siri voice gives you the ability to actually change the actual voice, the tone, kind of like the person you're talking to. So that's pretty cool. So if we go to American, uh, so we have here American, and of course it'll say something. So we have four different voices. So you have, let's say, voice number one, two, three, and four. So one. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. And like, for example, voice three. 
So even though it's the same language, English, and even though it's the same variety, so like the same accent, let's say, now you can actually choose a voice that represents you better or that you just like how it sounds better than the previous ones that, it, that we had. Still talking about Siri and this new feature will please Spotify users quite a lot. You can now set Spotify to be your default music player. So when you actually ask Siri to play a song or a podcast or an album or something like that, it'll play on Spotify instead of using Apple Music or uh, the podcast app. To enable this, all you gotta do is ask Siri to actually play a song and then select Spotify. Unfortunately, I have already done that and selected Apple Music because I'm an Apple Music user and I can't get that screen anymore. For some reason i just can't but for you if it's the first time after updating it'll have a screen asking you what service you wish to use so you select spotify still talking about music but this time apple music we now have more information when we tap on an album or a single for example right here at the bottom uh, we have more information on when it was actually released so march the 5th of 2021 on this case specifically the number of songs minutes and of course the label as well and that's not only for new albums if we go ahead here and tap on this older one for example from drake as well you'll see here that under all the songs we have the day again so this one is from 2012 and same story right here so it's good to have a little bit more information regarding your favorite artists now, this next new feature has to do with security, and I think it's a very important one. So now you can simply ask Siri, call emergency. Calling emergency services. And it will instantly start calling. Of course, you can cancel it. So of course you can cancel it because this is just a demonstration. I will not call them, of course. But uh, you can just ask and in like three seconds, it'll call security. It's a very nice way to do it, a very fast way, an important new feature if you, for some reason, need this. And if you want it even faster, you have the call button so you can even hurry it up and call it instantly. So I like this feature because you don't have to dial or anything like that. You just say the command. If you are in a distress situation, in a very complicated, risky situation, this can save your life. Another very cool feature is that iOS 14.5 now supports the new PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X controllers. So if you like to do that, if you are a gamer and if you like to use your console controllers to play games on your iPhone, like PUBG Mobile or Free Fire or games like that, that benefit from a real controller, you can use the new PS5 and Xbox Series X controllers. It's now compatible. And last but not least, let's talk about reminders. If you are like me and you love the reminders app and you can't live without the reminders app, I bet you're gonna love this. So if you tap on any of your lists, and I have this demo list right here, um, you can actually tap on the three dots and then sort by, and then you can actually choose how you want your reminders to be sorted. So for example, manually, so as you, as you type them in, so that's the default way. Uh, you can select by due date, so when they actually expire, let's say, when they will actually notify you. So you can select them by order, sort by order, order, or maybe uh, the creation date, the priority, whatever. So it's a really nice way to organize your reminders much better because if you have a ton of them like I have, sometimes it can get a little bit confusing. With this, you'll never miss a reminder anymore okay so that's pretty much it hope you enjoyed this video uh, i had a blast showing you all the best the newest and the most important new features new changes in ios 14 if you're updated to ios 14 make sure to take advantage of them also check out that video that i show you how to unlock your iphone with your apple watch again there's a card link in the description so go ahead and check it out to enable this awesome new feature on your devices right now and start using them all right so that's pretty much it and i'll see you guys in a few days as usual bye bye